A lot there to you. In this kind of question, we are trying to figure out what's the best pricing strategy. I get this question quite a bit from managerial economics students, sometimes intermediate micro, uh, microeconomics. So we've got two products. At first, we're selling them for zero marginal cost. We have four types of consumers, customer A, B, C, and D. This is the willingness to pay. Okay, so. What we're, what we're reading here is that A is willing to pay $25 for good one and uh, up to $100 for good two. So any price equal to or less than that price, uh, they'll go ahead and buy it, okay? Uh, you can see the B's willingness to pay and then customer D has the opposite situation as customer A. So the, the more they're willing to pay for the product, the more that they like the product. So it says compare selling these uh, separately and selling them together for one bundle price. So if I'm going to sell them separately, um, I can pick uh, a number of different prices. So one price I can pick is, uh, and, and you can do this too, so just plug in, plug in prices. When the price is 25, we're going to sell a quantity of eight. We're going to sell one to every, every person. Okay. How much total revenue will that give us? Okay. And that's going to give us uh, 8 times 25, which is just 200. Okay, We can do the, the next thing. If we raise our price up to 40, we're going to not sell this product and not sell this product, but we'll sell six other products. So here, quantity would be six. Total revenue would then be 240. If we raise the price even further, up to 80, we're going to lose these two folks here on those two products and we're going to just sell that one that one that one and that one okay so that would be quantity four and that's going to be uh 320. Okay. and then finally highest price i can charge is a hundred this is going to sell two units and that's going to give us total revenue of 200. okay so when i'm picking a single price uh, the best single price I'm just going to look for is the, the most total revenue. So that one's going to be uh, a price of 80. Okay. So separately, we're going to pick a price of 80 and I'll sell four units. These two folks won't buy those two products. Okay. Now we want to beat that. So we want to create a bundle price. Okay. So we really have two bundle prices, right? It's the most they're willing to pay for both products. So customer A. So you can make like another column here if you want for both. Get that right here. Okay, so for both, uh, it is 25 plus 125, and that would be, whoops, 125. And this one is 120, 120 and 125 okay so now let's uh figure out some uh to our, do we really only have two prices here so we can we can charge 120 and that will sell eight units but really we're only going to sell four units right um and because because the bundle we're bundling both products together so it's going to be four okay so that'll give us a total revenue uh add those together and total revenue is going to be 480. Okay, and then what happens if we uh, charge a price of 125? Then we're only going to sell two, just to just to compare. Okay, so if we sell two bundles, we would sell one to customer A and to customer D, and that would give you 240. Okay. So the top uh, choice here is, I suppose there's another bundle. We could, we could also charge if you wanted to. You could do uh, 100, bundle everything at 100, and that would sell all four units, and that would give you total revenue of 400. So that's pretty good, too. So I should probably label, label what's going on here. This is the bundle over here. And then over here, 
this is single price. Okay, uh, so if I was picking a bundle, most I can make is 480. So I'm going to bundle them and I'm going to charge uh, 120. Okay, this this is actually a typo. That should be 125. Okay, uh, so which leads to higher profit, 120, and you can just work out the answers there. All right, consider the possibility to sell unbundled and bundled. So here's the problem here. If we sell um if we pick a bundle price so bundle price right here is the is the best one okay if i sell a single price product any less than that i'm going to lose one of those bundles okay so like if i did uh if i came up with a price uh for a single product right say like a hundred I want to capture that highest price right there okay so if I did a hundred for a single product then um, good customer a would buy good two and then customer D would buy good one so that would give us two hundred dollars in total revenue and then I did the bundle of 120 okay that would be uh, 120 plus 120, so that'd be 240, and then 440. So that would actually get me close. Okay, so if I set up a price, uh, you could do a single, single 100, or bundle 120. I could do I could do that, but any any price underneath that, like if the price was like eighty or something like that, I'm going to undo my bundle. So it's still better not to do this. Uh, so no, it would not improve the outcome. Okay, so you just kind of want to work out the numbers. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. It is better to do a mixed pricing scheme, but in this case, no, it's not. All right, now suppose the production uh, of each good entails a marginal cost of 30. Okay, so so what you want to do is just each unit that you sell, you want to multiply that by 30 and then subtract that from your total revenue. So like on this first one up here, if I was doing how does this information change your answer here? Actually, we can copy this whole thing. We're just going to see if the bundle is better. Now the bundle uh, cost is a little bit different, so let's let's work through that. Okay, so with our cost, let's do total cost or TC right there. So that would be eight times uh, thirty it would be two forty. Six times thirty it would be uh, one eighty. 4 times 30, 120, and 2 times 30 would be 60. And then your profit, we often use pi for profit. Profit we're going to take, so this is actually a loss, so you don't, you don't want to do that. And that makes sense because your, your price is lower than your marginal cost, so we don't want to do, we don't want to do that, but it's negative 40. Then here, we're going to get a profit of 60. We're going to get a profit of... And when the price is 80, um, so we'd sell four units, that'd be 200, it's pretty good actually, and then 140, okay? So if I'm doing single price, I'm still only gonna price 40, uh, that'd still be the best. All right, let's see what's going on with the bundle. Instead, for total cost here, this is actually eight units because each of these things we're, we're doing times two. And then this is actually four. So in this case, uh, we would be eight. Eight units is 240. We already did that math. And then four units is two is 120. And then that's another 240. 
and then the profit here is 240 and then uh, 120 and then 160. So it actually doesn't matter in this example. Uh, I have seen problems where it does matter, but in this case, it's going to be better to bundle uh, and bundle at 120, so we get all of the all of the purchases um, in this uh, in this example. Okay, so uh, it looks like actually looks like I have made a mistake up here. Uh, this is not this is 125. That's actually 250. Probably looking at that and saying, hey. It's not right. Oh, I make mistakes too. So that's two fifty. Okay. So any other problems that you run into, let me know. And that's how to solve a bundling problem. Just work out total revenue. Work out every possible combination, and then you got it.